Yeah, I think Yatsuhe one has to be the ban, right? Because if you're Arena, then you get punished by this and what else? This Pact of Glass mm. upgrade. Like, you just get your flare drained away. You can have your life sucked out and out of the game. <laughs> like, it it can really Does get it, rid of the whole counter. Even work? Like, oh right, it's buff right. Ah, I need to play Yatsuhe one. No, it's not Mirror. Ah, I'm disappointed with you. I feel fancy because I called the bands. Wow, he just said Ernami swapped for Heavenly Far Away for like two seconds. All right, looks like we're ready to start. I think that was a health strike key. Oh, hero keeping his hand, no mulligan. Okay. Yep, discarding hilt sign to focus. Both players focusing early. Hi. Oh. It's already started. It's already started. Wait, what? 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 <laughs> when did he sneak that card? <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> All right. I'm going to be waiting for that card to be uh, some insane combo piece that I've been overlooking this whole time, but. All right, no, I guess, all right. So here, here's the thing there. You can use that to protect his attacks from outclass. So he's probably just going to hold on to it. And then when he has his big uh, resolve turn, he's going to drop that along with all his resolve attacks. And then Tsukikage Crush with a range of three to five. So here won't be able to just go boop outclass and step out of the attack at the last second. Okay, we're blooming. Alright. Guardian Spirit, probably going on the bottom of the deck, but yeah, not the only reason you keep that in your plate pile usually is if you're Karuru. Who advances with vigor? Not quite in attack range yet. Probably gonna go for the petal storm and see if he gets him closer. There it is. I think it might be correct for Hero to take the backwards movement off Petal Storm. It's probably correct for Hero to do that, but it's really hard to do that still. Oh, 
Yeah, find play that has a reaction that's solid that keeps M4 from doing anything to react on his own. All right, and he takes the backward movement. for us to decide what he wants to discard to advance or what he wants to discard for anything at the end of his turn because he's got to discard down to two anyway. He could just play his bloom card and bloom it here though because it has a range of up to eight in this season. So I guess the other thing he has to consider here about playing this, that he makes it so Hero can step forward and swing rush him with idea. So he'd be taking two two ones next turn, pretty much guaranteed. I think the conservative play here would be to just discard Brandish and recover one. Or move up one. No, recover one, because you don't want to get the swing rush. At least not without Hero having to spend an extra action to get to idea. Oh, wait. Uh, I'm for putting two, two, like, on a cut row up. Oh, no, he didn't. Uh, uh, if he did, he snuck it in very quickly at the last second. Okay. He attacks, he blooms, and he eats Swing Rush. He's decided, Swing Rush, that's okay, I'm Urena, I can take that extra flare. Oh, okay. Yeah, he also, I guess, uh, Season's turn. He's probably still not taking all four aura. Okay, putting Charmer Blossoms on the bottom. Starting Brandish to recover. And looks like he's splitting a difference. Yeah. Swing Rush hitting for one Flare, one Aura, and one Life.
What is he considering here? Oh, seasons. Okay, so he does need to seize his turn if he wants to be able to draw his Guardian Spirit Raid. And what is he discarding to do that? Probably... Probably Petalstorm, maybe? He's very exposed right now. The M4 is going to be able to do whatever he wants to him next turn. Okay, Silent Wall on the bottom. Good card to have next turn. Okay, it looks like he is going to pedal storm. That might help keep M4 on the defensive. Oh, no, keeping it. Okay, M4 going for a little reshuffle. That actually, yeah, no. Fine. I'm going to say it makes sense because he knows he has Guardian Spirit, right? But it doesn't because he's suffering. Okay, M4 has his special enhancement. Doubt he uses it here, but I could be wrong. I say special, I mean singular, by the way. Um, oh, we're backing up. What? I think I missed something there. Okay, Pellstorm back up. M4 doesn't have the vigor he needs to do any kind of follow up here. Can't get in range to bloom. If Hero wants to draw a silent wall, he has to take a life damage. Like, he's opting not to do that. The actions. Okay. Metal Storm. Taking it to life is forward. Oof. Okay, well, M4 is getting really close to being able to come back with Tsukikage. It looks like Hero has a big advantage here, but... If M4 can just kill him in one turn, then it won't matter. As this hero won't get a chance to respond with his own supers. Yeah, that's, that's okay.
Oh, it's important. Well, he doesn't know. Hmm. So you can use favorable winds to dodge Hilt Slam. I guess that's neat. And to dodge the Guardian Spirit, right? Kind of cheeky. Hmm. And he probably crushes this turn too then, right? Because he doesn't want... Uh, he wants to have that as a surprise, so he doesn't get outclassed on his Tsukikage. But maybe not. Maybe you don't do that if it's not lethal, because you don't want to get countered. about not blooming? Oh, there we go. Oh, the anti-synergy. Because you delay your resolve with your arena. Uh -oh. So if he's paying attention, he should know that Brandish is on top of his deck, that he could use Season's turn to pull his Brandish up and play that at range 4. Okay. This is fine. Room four. Oh, do you keep Talisman? Is he going to use Talisman just to break the Bloom Chain? That seems like DM at this point.
Okay, hero opting to switch out hilt slam with uh, outclass. He's recognizing that outclass isn't going to save him for much with uh, their rule wins on the board. I would think he'd be trying to set up Silent Wall, but I guess if he plays his Spirit right as a reaction, he does. And he's clinching to avoid the Destructive Spirit right, so, yeah. All around, fair play. Avoids any reaction by M4 by reacting himself. M4 is considering taking this to life so that he can back up in Great Spirit, which is silly, so maybe. I guess he can back up and play Great Spirit and play Secret Kaga Crush, so maybe he is considering that. But if he takes it to Aura, he's basically not doing that this turn. Probably just going to stop his attack chain right there. Which might be fine, really. There's no real point in giving Hero the flare if he can't finish him. Has come damn close though. Yeah, here needs to take the two one still. Now, if that reaction had put M4 into resolve, this would be significantly more dangerous. Because I believe that would trigger the resolve on the Hilt Slam, too. Or Hilt Strike, excuse me. Let's do two. I think you might as well take this to Aura at this point. The only reason to keep your Aura is to what? Bluff that you can react the Suke Kage. Oh, wait, no, it's not a bluff. He has Season's turn. So, yeah, if he takes this to Aura, he's going to get pounded. Potentially. Potentially. Okay, not yet. No more tailwind. Okay, 
silent wall and pray. Resolved now. All right. Built strike into this is gross. Okay, and for the trademark hand shuffle. Got our favorable wins again. So yes, you can hilt strike at range three. Oh, no. Nope, just kidding. Hmm. Impor can theoretically season's turn three times this turn. He decides to bloom his charm. I don't know if there's any particular draw he'd want to be fishing for here, though. Brandish would be amazing, right? Flash would be solid. But I don't think you want to fish more than once, right? Because you need the player to be able to crush afterwards.
Okay, Hilt Strike. Goes unanswered. No, no follow up. Interesting. Him for keeping the cancel in hand. Favorable wind will be out, beat out outclass next turn. But outclass can still theoretically dodge brandish, which is worth having at resolve. Not eating a 3 2 is nice. And it gets him probably closer, which will be a bit more awkward for some of them for other attacks. Hero head hilt slam this turn would be looking a lot better, but it's still not terrible. If he forces out uh Uranami Storm, then or will be delayed on crushing next turn. But we'll see. Cut down. Three one. They're going to turn the seasons. Hurting Brandish. While you're in Resolve. Ah, okay, that, that makes a little bit more sense. Swing Rush. Two, two, ones. Getting dicey. So here it doesn't have much bigger to do anything terribly crazy with a follow-up. I agree. That does seem like it merits the Charm of Blossoms. Is he blooming it? I guess he might as well at this point, right? Not really much hope of him reshuffling. Brandish is gone. Oh, blooming it and leaving it in the discard pile. I guess that's a choice. He just wants these. All right, fair enough.
what he has left. He has Slash, I think, and whatever card he just seeded in from his discard pile. Interesting, interesting. So probably he wants to redraw his brandish next turn. Whatever card he seated before he doesn't like as much. Would it be like Petal Storm or Destructive Spirit? I guess that gives him options if it's Destructive Spirit. If he's like still at range, he can go for the Destructive Spirit. And if Spirit decides to clinch, she can go for Brandish. That seems like it's game over. Yeah, ending at this range with favorable wins in play it just seems like it was a very costly mistake here. And four knows you can't sidestep his crush. There's the first one. You can still react. It could potentially keep you from dying to a subsequent attack, but yeah, that's good. Could seed his discard pile onto his deck. Probably be good to keep him from dying to his frustration damage next turn. Slash is the obvious next play. This hero can't do anything about it again. And he'll be forced to take that all to his aura with Silent Wall, and then he just gets Petal Stormed and he's out. So yeah, turns out this card was pretty good. I have to eat my words.
decides not even to fight it. 